Here is how I fix my high ping and network latency in my favorite games. If you've ever lost a match because of lag spikes, delayed shots, or packet loss, you know how frustrating it feels. For the longest time, I dealt with unstable connections that ruined my gameplay experience. After months of testing and fine tuning, I discovered the exact settings and tweaks that finally gave me smoother ping and faster response times. This is my ultimate network optimization guide, built specifically for gamers who want to crush latency issues once and for all. Let's dive in. What's related with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 2. Adjust the limit reservable bandwidth setting. Before we get into the actual tweak, let me explain why this setting is such a hidden problem. By default, Windows keeps a portion of your internet bandwidth reserved in the background for system updates and internal services. That means even if you have fast internet, a chunk of it is quietly held back from you, which can cause unnecessary lag, spikes, and high ping while gaming. In competitive titles, that tiny bit of bandwidth being locked away can be the difference between a smooth win and a frustrating loss. That's why fixing this setting is so important. To make this change, open the Windows search bar and type gpdit.msc, then hit enter. From the results, select Edit Group Policy. Once you're inside the Group Policy Editor, navigate through the following path. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Network, QoS Packet Scheduler. Here, you'll find an option called Limit Reservable Bandwidth. Double click it, set it to enabled, and then change the bandwidth limit, percent, value from the default 20% down to 10%. Finally, click apply, then OK and close the window. What this does is simple. Windows usually reserves 20% of your internet bandwidth, leaving you with only 8% for gaming, streaming or downloading. By lowering that reserved portion to just 10 cent, you get to unlock 9% of your total speed for your personal use. After applying the change, restart your PC so the tweak takes effect. Benefits after applying this step, you'll notice fewer network slowdowns caused by hidden background processes. More of your internet speed is focused on gaming performance, helping reduce ping and latency. Step 3. Apply the ultimate network boost pack for maximum speed. Before diving into the tweaks, it's important to understand why this step is so critical. By default, Windows and network adapters come with built-in settings that focus on stability and compatibility. While that might sound useful, the downside is that these features often slow down your connection and introduce hidden bottlenecks. The result is frustrating issues like higher ping or sudden lag spikes in online games. That's exactly where the Ultimate Network Boost Pack comes in, since it allows us to retune your system specifically for speed, low latency and consistent performance. To get started, download the Ultimate Network Boost Pack from my official website. Once the file is saved on your PC, extract the folder to your desktop for easier access. Open the folder and double-click the included registry file. Next, 
Open TCP Optimizer, which is also included in the pack. Select your active network adapter, then drag the slider to the 100 plus Mbps position to match modern high speed internet connections. From there, click apply recommended settings, which automatically adjusts multiple parameters for the best balance between performance and reliability. After applying the recommended profile, fine tune the configuration manually to get the most out of your connection. Disable auto tuning and scaling heuristics since they can create conflicts in online gaming environments. Change the congestion control provider from the default cubic to CTCP, compound TCP, which is more efficient at handling fast and high latency networks. Then disable RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing, both of which consume CPU cycles unnecessarily and can cause stability problems during heavy usage. Adjust your time to live TTL value to 64, which ensures consistent packet delivery across routers and servers. Keep going by turning off checksum offloading, chimney offload, and large send offload LSO, since these so-called optimization features often create instability rather than improving performance. Enable TCP 113.23 timestamps, which helps smooth out packet delivery on networks with higher latency. In the advanced section of TCP Optimizer, set max connections per server to 10 to avoid connection overload, switch to a reliable DNS like Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS for faster lookups, and lower max SYN retransmissions to 2 so that failed connections retry quickly instead of wasting time. Finally, disable the network throttling index and change system responsiveness to gaming mode, which ensures your PC prioritizes network speed and responsiveness in real time. Once all changes are applied, restart your computer to finalize the new settings. These adjustments make sure that Windows no longer caps or redirects your bandwidth and that your system is fully tuned for gaming. Step four, identify and stop bandwidth hogging apps. Before we begin, let me explain why this step is crucial. Many times, the reason your ping shoots up or your game feels laggy isn't your internet speed itself, but background apps quietly eating away at your bandwidth. Things like cloud sync, updates, or hidden processes can run without you knowing, leaving less speed available for your game. By spotting and shutting these down, you give your connection a direct path to focus on what really matters, your gameplay. To start, right-click the Windows icon in the taskbar and select Task Manager. Once inside, head over to the Performance tab and click on Open Resource Monitor. In Resource Monitor, switch to the Network tab. Here, you'll see a list of applications and processes using your internet. Focus on the Network Activity and TCP Connection sections. These show you which apps are consuming the most bandwidth and how active their connections are. If you notice any unnecessary programs hogging bandwidth, right click and choose end process. For apps with multiple processes, select end process tree to close them all at once. Keep in mind that some system services like svchost.exe also use bandwidth. Most of these are important, but if you notice unusual spikes, you can look into which ones are safe to limit or disable. Doing this ensures that only essential services stay active while gaming. Benefits after applying this step. Frees up valuable bandwidth so your internet is focused entirely on your game. Reduces background interference, giving you smoother gameplay and more stable ping. Step 5. Disable proxy settings for a direct connection. Before making this quick change, let's understand why it matters. A proxy server acts as a middleman between your computer and the internet. The problem is that if this option is enabled without you realizing it, all of your data has to pass through an extra step before reaching game servers. This unnecessary routing creates higher ping, unstable connections, and even packet loss during matches. In competitive gaming, even a small increase in latency can ruin the smoothness of your gameplay, which is why disabling it is a crucial optimization step. To check and disable this setting, click on the Windows search bar and type Internet Properties, then open it from the results. In the new window, go to the Connections tab at the top and click on the LAN Settings button near the bottom. Another window will pop up. 
Here, look for the option that says use a proxy server for your LAN. If this box is checked, uncheck it immediately unless you've manually configured a proxy for work or you're using a VPN that requires it. After making the adjustment, click OK, then OK again to close both windows. That's it, the proxy is disabled and your PC can now communicate directly with game servers instead of being routed through an unnecessary middle layer. Benefits after applying this step. Direct connections to servers reduce ping and minimize packet loss. Your gameplay feels smoother, faster and more stable across all online titles. And that's how I fix high ping and latency to get the smoothest gameplay possible. Apply these steps and you'll notice a huge difference in your connection and overall performance. Thanks for watching. Now go dominate your favorite games lag free.